Hey everyone, thought I'd post my latest work I've been doing on this uh, toy dozer. Things have gone, actually, I have to admit, for the first build really well. Uh, or this has been a great version to deal with, lots of room and easy enough plastic to work with. Not quite as tough as Bruder. Hoping that doesn't bite me in the ass though when I bring this outside and start digging with it. But anyways, uh, motors are in. Oh, I got my saber tooth, the controller for it, yesterday. So got her in and wired up. I'm just noticing now. I thought I had a problem with the stance. Then I realized it's just a matter of it's just so heavy on the back end now with the motors and the reinforcing plate. It's got a rock to it, so I got to add some weight to the front. But yeah, reason being is the motors back here. Uh, pardon the butcher job on the right side obviously that was the first one I thought wasn't too worried as I was cutting and realized what a mess I made now but fortunately I'm lucky I got plan B because the ripper ripper assembly will hook up to that I'll pretty much be able to hide it I still want to seal it up and do some styrene work or I'm not sure what I'm going to do to cover that up, but it'll get covered up. And yes, as you see, there's a little blue flashing light in the back, and that's because she's live. And she's also on one channel, or one joystick, all functions. Okay, well, before I do any damage, I'm going to put it on the floor. Hang tight for a second. Yeah, definitely a little bit on the fast side, but if that makes any sense, fast means less torque, and this is a plastic dozer, so not too strong, shouldn't break too much stuff, I'm hoping, but yeah, crazy. That's right, there's a trailer inside there. <laughs> Anyways, so that's her, guys. Uh, hope you like it. I'm having fun building it. Oh, yes, before I go, though, a very good friend who I've met through the hobby in the last couple of years happened to be coming through town yesterday, and look what he dropped off for me. Nice gift, I'd say. This, my friends, is going to be the blade up and down, concealed inside, lots of jam. I tried a uh, typical servo, high torque, but it draws too much juice and was causing the saber tooth to cut out. When I first hooked everything up, I hadn't even run the tracks yet, and I just wanted to verify that the servo run. As soon as I did that, all of a sudden I had no... Uh, drives. Anyways, it was a little bit of playing around, but I think after testing, and it works great with this, we're looking at my new blade function. So that's what's coming. Thanks for watching.